Good morning, and welcome to episode 49 of Getting Rich. I'm your host, Rich Checkin, president of Asset Strategies International, and today is Wednesday, November 3rd, 2021. Well, folks, it's been a few weeks since our last episode of Getting Rich due to some unforeseen circumstances, but I'm back in the saddle and ready to go, and not much has changed. Looking back over the past three weeks, uh, we continue to wrestle with rising and falling rates of uh, COVID uh, infections. Uh, Here in Montgomery County, that means mask on, mask off, mask back on again. We're trying to figure out what to do, and they're even talking about wrestling with the criteria so that we don't keep jumping back in and out of masks. Uh, In Congress, they continue to try and push through this uh, spending bill. I understand it's down from three and a half trillion to one and a half trillion. They're still trying to wrestle with this. In the end, due to the fact that spending sunset clauses never sunset, expect to add two trillion to whatever it is, the headline number that they approve. We've got elections going on locally, all over the place uh, for governor, mayor, uh, etc. cetera. Uh, so we're looking at the first, I guess, litmus test or pulse on the first year uh, uh, satisfaction of President Biden's uh, presidency. Uh, and the investment world is seeing some pretty good gains year on year. From October of last year to October of this year, we're seeing the Dow, the NASDAQ, and the S&P all up 30 to 40%. Bitcoin's up year on year 325%, but what's not moving is the metals. Year on year, gold is down about 3.5%, silver's up about 4, 4.5%. Let's take a look at the numbers over the past three weeks. So gold is currently trading at 1784.60, up three quarters of a percent from three weeks ago at 1771.90. Silver is up 3% 3% to 2362 from 2291 three weeks ago. Um, platinum is up 3.5% to 1,051 an ounce from 1,014 three weeks ago. And palladium is the only loser in the complex. It's down 3.25% to 2088 an ounce from 2160 three weeks ago. With silver outperforming gold over the period, the gold-silver ratio has come down to 75.83 from 77.64, and the dollar is under slight pressure at 94.03 uh, from 94.29 a few weeks ago. Folks, in a world where all investments are hyperinflated and overvalued, where prices of everything have gone up. And believe me, folks, it is not transitory. This transitory is going to be at least a year, year and a half before it ever gives way. It may be longer and it may be worse than expected. But in a world where everything is going up in price and gold and silver are not, it is time to buy, in my opinion. So if you have not jumped into the gold and silver market with both hands at these prices, you have missed the memo, you have missed the email, you have missed the point. Folks, it is the best bargain in the investment world, hands down, bar none, take advantage of it now while the getting is good. Uh, We're going to talk a lot about the investment markets and the precious metals uh, tomorrow in our monthly newsletter information line. If you are not subscribed to our newsletters and following us on social media, do so at Asset Strategies. Go ahead and like us and follow us here on YouTube and click the button below if you haven't already signed up next week, Wednesday, 7 p.m., November 10th, That's Eastern time. We are going to have our fourth quarter on the move webinar that's hosted by myself and Chris Blasey of Neptune Global. And we have a wonderful guest. You don't want to miss it. We have Chuck Butler of Daily Fennig fame. That is required reading here at Asset Strategies. If you're not getting it, you have to. You need to tune in and see what Chuck has to say. And we'll delve into all these issues next week. Remember, folks, the first step in getting rich is keeping what's yours.